Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We're going to derive an equation given two points and you will be able to do 11.9. So today students will be able to write an equation given two points. So before we start, I would like to begin with a warm up and I want you to try it on your own. Um, so make sure you pause the video and after that um, you can try this warm up and come back to it okay so hopefully you already paused the video and tried this on your own i want you to recall that the formula for the slope is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and so this will be x1 y1 meaning point 0.1 but the x and the y x and y but for point two so we're just going to say put a two in there so remember that those ones and twos don't really mean all anything else than this is point one this is point two so let's start with the first one so i'm going to find the slope of these two points and so um y2 minus y1 then we were here, now we go here, x2 minus from the equation or formula, x1. And so 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Negative divided by negative is positive, and po uh, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So that's my slope for the first example. Now, for the second example, I have again x1, y1, x2, y2, and so we begin this two first. So negative 1 minus 5 over x2 minus x1. And so negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Negative divided by positive is negative, And 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that's my slope for the second set of two points. Okay. So in the previous lesson, we were given, I don't know if you recall, the M, the slope, something like this. And we were given one point. Let's say, I think the example was 2, 3. So we needed the slope and we needed x and y and we call it x1 and y1. But now for this lesson, what we're given is actually two points. However, we can choose one of those points and, and make it that point, x1 and one, uh, y1. And we can figure out the slope by doing something like this, like in the warm-up. Okay, so let's see. Again, we need a slope and we need a point. And we only have two points, so how do we find the slope? Well, let's... We'll, ca whoops. we'll call it x1, y1, x2, y2. We'll find the slope. And so the slope is going to be 5, let me write the formula again, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so y2 is 5 minus y1 is 3 over x2 minus x1, x2 is 6 minus 2, 5 minus 3 is 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. The number on top is smaller, so we reduce the fraction. When the number on top is bigger, then we divide the fraction. Okay? Unless it's not, if it's not divisible, we're just going to simplify it. Okay? Slope cannot be um, as a mixed number. So we're going to divide both by 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that's going to be my slope. Okay. Now, I have the slope 
and I can choose any of the two points. So I'm going to put one half for the slope and I'm going to choose one of the two points. I'll choose the first point. It doesn't matter if you choose the second point. That's okay. Uh, you just have to call it X1 and Y1 because we only have one point, so we only call it one, okay? Now, if you recall from the previous lesson, and if you don't, I'll, I'll give it to you, but you need to use this formula, which is the, the slow point formula, Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1, okay? And so, now that I have the slope, remember that you replace that in here. We have our X1 and we replace that in here. And we have our Y1 and we replace that in here. The rest stays the same, okay? And so we have Y minus Y1, which is three, equals M, which is my slope, so it's one half, times x minus x1 is a 2, okay? And now we do distributive property. So basically right now we're just going to start to simplify so that we leave y by itself. So we use distributive property. So we multiply by each term inside of the parentheses. So we get y minus 3. 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1. The next step is to leave y by itself is to cancel by adding. And so if we're subtracting 3, we're going to add 3 to both sides. That way I can leave y by itself. And so it's going to be y equals one half x negative one plus three that's going to be plus two remember that when we have adding or subtracting integers if they're the same sign we add them but in here we have different signs we subtract and always 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 in addition and subtraction we keep the sign of the biggest number okay only in addition and subtraction keep the sign of the biggest number for multiplication and division, that's different. Okay, I don't know if you want to look at it, the whole thing, pause it and write it down. Okay. Okay, let's do another example. Okay. Um, so the next example is you're given the point negative 3, negative 1, and 1, 3. Okay, again, first, find the slope, and then you use the, the slope point formula to find the equation. Okay, so first the slope, the slope is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so my slope here is going to be Again, if you need to label this, make sure you do. Sometimes you don't, so basically you just think, oh, some people do the arrows, other people don't do anything, and they already know that you do 3 minus, and then negative 1, okay? Minus from the formula, and then negative from the number, the value of y1. Over 1 minus, and then negative 3. Now, if you recall, two negatives together become the big plus. Negative and negative, positive. Okay, so the big plus. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now, I know that my slope is equals to 1. Now, if you want to keep it uh, positive, I would use the second uh, point. But if you want to... Always use this first point so that you don't get confused. So then you might want to use this. Even if it has negatives, you might want to go for the challenge. I'm just going to go with the negative. But try it with this point if you want to, to, make, to see that 
um, you will get the same thing. So again, the formula, the slope point formula is y minus y, 1, equals n times x minus x, 1. Okay? So this is the formula that we're using to write our equation. And we just start replacing. Remember that the slope is 1. X is orange and y is the yellow value and we start replacing okay so now y minus negative 1 m is 1 x minus negative 3 notice how we have a negative and a negative so be careful, remember that negative and negative together make a big plus. Okay, basically it's so big that it makes the two negatives disappear. Negative and negative, big plus. Okay, so now that's positive one and positive three. So we continue with distributive property. Poor, <laughs> Property, pro property. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna use distributive property. So it's gonna be y y plus one equals one times x, one x. You don't need the one in here because we don't write a one as a coefficient, as an exponent, or as a denominator. Okay, those three we don't use the one. So one times three is three okay we cancel the next step is to cancel by subtracting so minus one minus one and so y equals x plus two so this is my equation um, I was gonna point something else in here and I just can't remember oh yeah 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 um, how are you not supposed to use the one? The one is not used as coefficient, meaning you don't write one x, okay? This doesn't go. Uh, we don't use it as denominator. Only in the process, like if you have five, we don't put five over one. Okay, this doesn't go. And we also don't use it as exponent. We don't say, I'm 38 years old to the first power. Okay, we don't put that. So basically, x is always x by itself. We don't put the one as coefficient. We don't put one as denominator and the one as an exponent. Okay, let's try one more example. And maybe you need it. To copy that so pause it right now if you haven't again first you find the slope right and the second step is to use the slope point formula to find the equation okay let's do one more and so you have zero three and five four five and so first the slope Again, you have the, let me just, no, I'll write it again. So the slope is m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so this is x1, y, y1, x2, y2. Oh my goodness. And so, remembering that you are going to, subtract okay so 5 minus 3 4 minus 0 and if you're visual then like this 5 minus 3 4 minus 0 and 5 minus 3 is 2 4 minus 0 is 4 we remember that 2 fourths is equals to 1 half because we divide 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is my slope. 
and I think I'm gonna use the first point I'll use the second point but remember that because we're not considering this other point we only have one point so that now becomes x1 and y1 okay and we're ready to use our formula y minus y 1 equals m times x minus x 1 okay y minus y x minus x and the slope right here okay and we're ready to replace the slope my x and my y okay so it's gonna be y not equals <laughs> y minus y minus 5 equals pink it's one half my slope is one half times x minus my x1 is 4 and before I go on, remember that the reason for which I put x1 and y1 in here, even though I'm using the second point, is because now I'm not considering this as for this process, I'm not considering this point, so it's just going to be one point, point one, right? Because we don't have a point two for after this process, okay? Okay, so now we're ready for distributive property. So you can notice that this is the same process as the previous lesson. So uh, basically the new thing is just finding the slope and making sure that you choose any of the two points. It doesn't matter which one. Okay, one half times x is one half x. One half times negative four is negative two. Whoops, and I don't need that parenthesis anymore. Um, now, how come it becomes a two. Remember that if you want to do the process, it's just one half times negative four. We put it over one and multiply straight. One times negative four is negative four. Two times one is two. And negative four divided by two becomes negative two. Okay? So, or you can just think, what is half of negative four? Oh, negative 2. The next step is to cancel by adding and we're going to add 5 to both sides and so y is equals to 1 half x. Remember a negative and a positive that means that we subtract different signs we subtract and leave the sign of the greater one so it's going to be positive. And 5 minus 2 is 3. And so this is my equation for these two points. Okay, so this is it. You're now able to do 11.9 and have fun. Remember, math is fun.